Hi friends, it's your art teacher, Miss Barnett, and in this week's lesson called Nature's Beauty, we will be creating a landscape painting using light colors, which we call tints, and dark colors, which we call shades. We're going to be using white and black to mix these colors, as well as mixing other colors like we've learned um, through our other lessons in color in the last two weeks. So what you're going to need today is a big piece of paper. I'm using an 18 by 24 sheet of paper today. You'll need a little piece of scrap paper to do some practice on, a mixing palette, a paint palette, and a water cup and some brushes as well as a paper towel. So I'm going to show you how to mix light and dark colors and we'll do that together and then I'll show you how to make a beautiful landscape painting. Let's Friends. get started. All right, friends, we're going to do some review on how to mix secondary colors. So secondary colors are colors made from the primaries. Primaries are red, yellow, and blue. I'm going to start with red and yellow and make an orange. So I've got red and a little bit of yellow. Ah, remember, red is more powerful than yellow, so you'll need to add more yellow than red to get orange. There's orange. Pretty. Then we're going to make green, so we'll get some yellow. And we'll get a little bit of blue. And there's a beautiful green we just made. Gorgeous. Make sure you mix until it's all one color. And let's make some purple. We'll start with red, blue. Let's mix, and there we is purple, so pretty. So we know how to mix secondary colors. Now let's mix some tints. A tint is a color mixed with white with white. So the way to mix a tint will make a light green. We'll take some white and we'll take a little bit of green. Pretty. If we want a darker green or a darker tint, we just add more dots of green. One, let's make some more. Just like that. So we add we have white and then we add the color to white to make a tint. To make a shade, which is a darker color, and you can think about that like when you're in the sun and you're in the shade, you're out of the light, you're in the shadow. So to do that, we're going to take some orange. Beautiful. And we're going to add just a little bit of black. and it made a darker orange than that orange. If we want to make the color darker, we just add more black. Do you see how the black totally overpowered the orange? We have to be careful not to add too much or we'll just end up with the black. And that's like a dark, almost black orange we made. So you might want to practice making a shade and some tints like I did, and then we'll get started on our big paper. Here we go. All right, friends, before we start working on our landscape, you want to decide is your artwork going to be horizontal or is it going to be vertical, up and down? You might also want to decide where is your sky going to be? Will the sky be light or dark? And where will you show the land in your painting? And are you going to include any other large plants? So I'm going to paint a picture of some mountains and a waterfall and some trees going into a river. And I'm going to go vertical. So I'm going to go up and down 
And remember the dark colors go in the front and the lighter colors go in the back. So I'm gonna get started and you can watch me work. Here we go. It's not a bad idea to go ahead and sketch in where you're gonna put the sky. So my sky is gonna be like right here. And then I'm gonna have some big plants right here and some water. So I'm just sketching roughly where things are gonna go so I don't get confused. Here we go. And I'm gonna start painting now. Let's get other started. Tip I wanna give you, the other tip I wanna give you friends is we always start with the background and work our way to the front. Here we go. All right, friends, here's my completed Nature's Beauty project. I did notice after I had finished the bottom that the camera shut off. So just to review, lighter colors go in the back, darker colors in the front, add details after you've painted the large areas, use the right size brush for the right size space, a large, air, a large brush is for large spaces, a smaller brush is for small spaces and details. I hope you have just as much fun creating your beautiful place in nature as I did today, and I cannot wait to see what kinds of beautiful paintings you make. Don't forget to add white, I'm sorry, add color to white to make a tint and black to a color to make a shade. A shade is a darker color like you're sitting in the shade on a sunny day. Let's get started.